Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we'll go over the edge split modifier. This modifier splits edges apart from other edges based on the angle between them. Now, we have such a geometry. Let's right click and make smooth shading. This is going to smooth all the sharp corners as well giving this weird look. We can fix this problem by enabling Auto Smooth. Edge Split modifier can be used to achieve the same effect as Auto Smooth. The difference is that Edge Split actually separates parts of the mesh based on split angle. Let's go to modifier menu and add split edge modifier. As you have noticed, some edges still look smooth. To fix this, let's lower the edge angle. Here we go. When the edge angle enabled, edges will be split if the angle between its two adjacent faces is greater than the split angle. Let's apply edge split modifier and go to edit mode. You can see how edges of the mesh split each other. Let's press Ctrl Z and undo to get back our modifier. Let's disable edge angle. If Sharp Edges option is enabled, edges will be split if they were marked as sharp. Let's go to Edit Mode and select those two edge loops. Press Alt Left Click and then, hold down Shift and press Alt Left Click to select second edge loop. Then, right click and mark sharp those edges. Go to Object Mode and control if those edges have marked sharp. Then, apply modifier. Now, let's go back to edit mode again and control if those edges has split. There we go. It would be more beneficial to increase the object's detail using subdivision surface modifier after we have applied edge split modifier. If we did that with an auto smooth mesh, then the subsurface modifier would smooth out the entire geometry. Because it is one solid object and we lose our shape. Let's compare two situations. Let's undo to get back our modifier. Press Shift D to duplicate our mesh. Let's delete Edge Split modifier for the duplicated mesh. Go to Object Data Properties and enable Auto Smooth. Then, Let's add Subdivision Surface Modifier. As you have noticed, we have lost our shape because it is one solid object. Now let's try the same thing for the mesh we have applied Edge Split Modifier. Firstly, apply the modifier. Then, go to Modifier menu and add Subdivision Modifier. Increase Levels Viewport to 3 and apply the modifier. Here we go. We have added details to our mesh without losing our shape. Because all of these panels have been separated and it's not one solid mesh. 
subdivision surface modifier has applied to each panel separately. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.